everyone, Paul here. Today I kind of want to go over how I made... Today, this morning was my best uh, time doing futures because I woke up making 10 XRP in a trade. And, you know, I'll show you right there. I'll put a snapshot of my results. Uh, now, I, I made the, the 10 XRP with futures by doing a particular strategy, and that's what I'm going to teach you to... I'm going to show you the uh, exact position, hopefully, it, in the in the charts, if I could still find it, uh, that gave me the 10 XRP. And I'm also going to teach you guys uh, kind of the two things I do with the, with this strategy to actually uh, improve my chances with futures. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm going to show you, today I'm going to show you the strategy that did that. That was the rainbow strategy, which I've talked about recently. So there's two different ways that you can actually make profit from doing the rainbow strategy. Now, uh, if though if you see my videos, I'm kind of I'm not going to really go into the whole setup thing. I've had videos about it. Basically, what you got to do is set up your RSI. You got to have the pro membership. You set up your RSI, and you make sure your moving averages are 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50, and 55, yeah, 55 too. Those, those are eight EMAs plus with the RSI. So I, I, I'm going to have it already loaded. So if you guys seen my previous videos, just watch those videos. I give you the setup, but uh, I'm not really going to go into the whole setting it up right now to save some time. But I just want to show you today the two ways of using the rainbow strategy to actually make profit with futures. Okay, so the moment that I got in, that I got my gains from, uh, I got the 10 XRP was right around here. I took note of, well, I'm going to get to this later, but I took note of the 20 EMA, which was hanging right here. And I was thinking to myself, well, it's either going to go all the way down. And if it goes all the way down, it's going to start a downtrend. Or it could be a fake out and go back up. I knew that it was a fake out because I just, at this moment here, I looked at the RSI and the RSI had it going up, which means it is a, it's going to be an uptrend. So from here, it's about here to here is about where I profited and got my 10 XRP with futures. It was just that small little move got me my uh, my futures, my 10 XRP. But let me show you guys how to actually, the ways you can profit from doing this strategy. Now, like I said, you got to have your EMAs. You got to have your, your 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55, and your RSI. That's the setup. And the, what you need to look for is two different entry points. The first entry point is when the 20 EMA is either crossing up or crossing down. So basically, like an example, you see it crossing up here. So this would be a good point to get in because this would signal a buy zone. And you can write it out as long as the 20 EMA remains on the top, it will be, it will go in that direction. So if the 20 EMA is all the way to the top and then all the lines are straight, then it is a, it's a run up. If the 20 EMA is on the bottom, it is a decline. If you show you right here, you see, see how the, 20 EMA crosses, so this would be a good entry point for a short, and then it just declines. And then you notice that it starts going up. Now, this is the second thing I want to talk about on how to make some profit. Now, let's just say, for example, you follow it here where it crosses, and you notice that it's going to start a downtrend. You follow, and as it, it is going, you take note of the RSI, and... What you want to look for are the moments the 20 EMA is either crossing up or crossing down. has to go completely through all the other EMAs to make your decision. So from here to down here would be profit. 
So this would be this would have been another profit zone. If you came in right here and you sold your uh, futures right around here, that would be a profit right there. You, if you look at the RSI, you'll know exactly when to get out. Another thing to take note of is when the RSI is when you notice it's a downtrend, but you see the RSI peeking through the yellow line. So the RSI is peeking through the yellow line right here. So this would signal to me, this is the opposite. This is what made me win my trade. It's, even though it's a downtrend, you see your RSI and it's peeking through the yellow line. So this would have been profit because... I would have known that we're in a downtrend. It's peeking through the RSI here, which means it's going to change directions. That's what made me win my trade here. So it's those two examples you want to look for. And you basically look for the when the 20 when when the 20 EMA is crossing either all the way down, it's crossing through all the other EMAs. Or it's crossing. Let's see where it is. It's crossing down there. And see right here, it crosses up here. So this was a signal for a. This was a signal for a uptrend right here. So all this would have been profit. And then you could have got out before it touched the RSI. So if you want to do the other way, that like I basically caught a retracement and. What you want to look for is make sure all the EMA lines are going straight. If the EMA lines are going straight, that means it's going to continue to go in that direction. But the moment it shifts or you see the RSI peeking through, you know that it's going to start changing direction. So anyway, those are just the, some quick steps that I did to earn my uh, uh, my 10 XRP today. Uh, if I find any other strategies, I really use this one for futures. It's it's really profitable for me. But if I find any other strategies that work, I will make a video about it. So anyway, that's how I made my uh, my 10 XRP today, uh, which was a good run for the morning. Good way to start the morning. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably if I don't get any other kind of strategies that work and that I want to teach, I'm going to go over. Kind of how you guys can increase, you know, how to benefit from futures and how to have a goal. If you focus on, like, the smaller cheap coins like XRP and Cardano, like that, uh, you can really profit hugely later on when you're doing futures. I'm going to make a video about that. And on a side note, on the Bing X uh, app, I'm trying to apply for a copy trader uh, hasn't happened yet, but with my current results that I can kind of gather from doing this, I'm um, averaging about 2% a day, somewhere around there. So I'll let you guys know if I get approved to be one of the copy traders. And of course, if, if, if you're a copy trader, uh, you can follow that person and you can basically copy their trades on, on the B, uh, Bing X platform. So once i'm officially approved on there i'll let you guys know if anybody wants to follow my trades uh or have the similar results that i do but anyway other than that little note uh if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in future videos